Hi everybody, my name is Matt Fisher. I'm a product director for the J-Flight Travel Trailers here at Jayco. I am standing in front of a brand new 2023 J-Flight. It's called a 265 RLSW. So this unit is actually uh, produced out in our Twin Falls, Idaho facility. So this is um, basically a Western edition, what we say, uh, J-Flight. You heard me mention 265 RLSW. We build the same floor plan here in our Indiana facility called a 265 RLS. So it's the exact same floor plan if you're interested in a rear living room. Uh, make sure you watch this video wherever you are, western, eastern, north, south, wherever. You can get this floor plan. We do do a few things different um, for our western facility, for our western dealers. I'll try to point, the, point those things out as we go. First of all, I'm standing right here in the front. You see a brand new profile for 2023. We've rounded the edges of the, of the profile a little bit. It made it a little bit more aerodynamic, also a little bit more modern looking. So uh, a lot less bread boxy, if you will. So really good looking profile. We've actually added smooth metal to the front. Uh, here on the side, you see a corrugated metal, mesa metal is what we call it. Um, uh, but on the front, just a smooth metal, again, more aerodynamic, much more modern looking, okay? Behind me also, electric tongue jack, 20 pound LP bottles with the bottle cover. We have a place for your batteries, of course, here. Uh, moving around, what we'll do is just kind of walk around, show you the outside first, and then we'll take a look at the inside. Here I have um, a pass-through storage compartment i love we've gone to magnetic catches here for those doors they stay up on their own no plastic clips to break eventually those magnetic catches um, are nice and then pass through storage all the way through um, which is under the bed so that's your uh, pass through storage there moving around to the side here of the camper your this is a, what we call the door side or the camp side so I'm standing underneath a nice size power awning. And if you look at the campsite, it really creates a nice area uh, uh, to be outside here. You can have a picnic table, whether you, you know, put a table here with some food or what have you, all covered while you're power awning. Uh, again, a mountain scene on the side. So this J-Flight really on the exterior looks identical to Indiana, except for the mountain scene. The mountain scene is our Western edition J-Flights. Um, here is a TV block, TV mount. Uh, we actually provide a steel bracket to fit on this. You provide the exterior TV, we provide the mount, that bracket. Here are some TV hookups um, and such on the side. Your entry door, we have a friction hinge entry door. So as you see, I can adjust this, open it, and it just kind of stays there with that hinge. These solid steps are standard equipment this year. Um, we were offering these kind of optional. Some people wanted them, some people didn't. We found out that most people did. Uh, so we made them standard equipment. They're really nice, stable steps, not bouncy at all. Um, with this version, the top step actually is a wider step than the other two, which is really nice for coming in or out. A little bit more, you feel a little more safe with that top. The way these work, they just lift up. There's a locking mechanism here. They fold up into the camper and I can close the door and just kind of locks them in place. Uh, when I get to my campsite, I'm actually open the door, pull the safety lock there, set them down on the ground. You can adjust the legs per the campsite. These pull pins here, that you see, these actually can adjust the leg shorter, longer, even if you need one side to be longer. Moving back here towards the uh, back side or the rear side of the camper, a couple things to point out. Um, you see here, this steel arm fits into a sleeve on the back. This is for a griddle, okay? We have an option uh, on some floor plans, it's gonna be optional where there's um, no outside kitchen. It's an option to get this uh, mounting bracket with um, a griddle, okay? If, it, if a floor plan has the outside kitchen, we know that most people are gonna want it, so it comes with it. Um, so there is a griddle. It's gonna be in that pass-through storage I showed you in just a few seconds ago. Um, but that sits on here. We provide a LP hose then 
to quick, uh, with a quick connect mounted underneath. So I can stand right here, cook up some hamburgers, hot dogs, do a little hibachi maybe on the griddle, I don't know. Back here on the rear of the coach, you see a uh, standard uh, spare tire. We do have Goodyear tires that we're running on, so um, we've given you the best that there is out there as far as the tires. Um, this floor plan, again, is a rear living, so you see the nice big picture, picture window on the back. Uh, the ladder, uh, there is a, a prep for a rear camera as well, which is nice. Um, on the other side, you know, it's our off-door side. Um, you would find our uh, dump valves and things like that. There is an outside shower as well. Uh, but for now, let's head on inside and take a look at the 265 RLSW floor plan. Okay, so walking in the entry door here, 265 RLSW, this is a rear living room, really a couple's trailer um, versus a bunkhouse. This is not a bunkhouse, uh, more of a couple's trailer. There is some extra sleeping we can talk about though. So walking in here, you see real uh, cabinet door. These are real wood cabinet doors, okay? This is the, the rear of the trailer, the back wall. They are hinged, so they automatically will stay up. You don't have to worry about one hand holding it while you're reaching in. That's very, very nice. Nice big picture window. These are pushback recliners. Uh, very comfortable chairs. Over here, this is actually a tri-fold sofa. Okay, so this will unfold to make almost a height of bed. Okay, height of bed, tri-fold, they're kind of one in the same. Um, that is optional equipment. We offer a jackknife sofa, sofa as well. But you heard me talk about a couple's trailer. Maybe the grandkids are coming. Maybe there is a family with kids. You can make this into a bed to have extra sleeping space. Um, walking in inside the coach in more of the kitchen area, you do have some countertops uh, space. But right here beside the door, so right when I come in the door, I can operate. Uh, I have some switches here. One is for the slide room and one is for your awning. You also have your controller for your battery levels, uh, water tank levels, and then some light switches. USB port, we have added a couple USB ports uh, for 2023, um, and then an outlet there. Great spot for coffee maker. Okay, here now, standing more in the kitchen area, let's talk about a few things of the 265 RLSW. Again, like I mentioned, real wood cabinet doors. Okay, so these all, these both, when they open up, not only provide great storage, but that's also very well built, okay? It's gonna last a long time. High rise faucet, so with a pull out sprayer, so I can clean out my sink easy. Again, some countertop space. This is a three burner cooktop with a glass cover. I love the glass cover because it creates a little bit more countertop space. So if I have a cutting board or if I just wanna use this as a prep area for making lunch, dinner, what have you, you can do that. And then to use it, you obviously just fold that back. Your oven is here. Great bank of drawers. And these are real wood drawers here. Four sides of real wood, okay? And those go all the way down to the floor. Underneath your sink area, storage, great spot for a trash can. That's one of the things that you want to look around at a, at a floor plan. Is there room for a trash can? You don't want to be have this nice trailer and then have to have a, a bag hanging out. This is a 10 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator. Okay, plenty of space, keep all your food nice and cold. Beside that is a pantry. Again, floor to ceiling, you have shelves throughout, just a great area. This is a really, really great kitchen with tons uh, of storage. Just across from the kitchen, this is table and chairs. Um, this is optional. So we do build this trailer normally with a booth dinette, but because this is a couple's trailer, a lot of times people prefer the table and chairs, they're a little bit easier to get in and out of. We do strap them down, put some nice covers over this for shipping. But again, that booth dinette that we offer here as well is great. The booth dinette does fold down or, 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 or make down into more sleeping space. So again, being a rear living, if you are going to be bringing kids or what have you and need some extra sp uh, space, you'll probably want the booth dinette. Behind me directly, some more storage, overhead storage in both spots. Down below storage, you have your stereo, Bluetooth. Um, you can hook up into that. This is shown with the optional TV then as well. We've gone to all smart TVs for 2023. Behind me and through this door, we'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. 
Okay, right here in the passage door into the bathroom, just to highlight a couple things, this leads directly into the bedroom too. There's a door separating uh, on both sides. So if you have guests, you can close them off both ways. Inside this bathroom, it's a really great bathroom. You have a nice medicine cabinet over your lab, which has storage underneath. A nice walk-in shower with glass sliding doors. So plenty of height here to stand up uh, some area for your soap and what have you inside that shower. On the opposite side of that, uh, the toilet, but also more linen pantry space inside the bathroom. Um, you know, it's not an overly large uh, bathroom, but there's a ton in it. Um, so it's roomy enough and gives you lots of great storage. Okay, finally, the 265 RLSW bedroom. Um, walk around queen bed. You do have wardrobes on each side of the bed. Some nice overhead space, some reading lights or just some lights here if you need them. Um, two lights here. Again, you have a, a sliding door there for privacy. Um, nightstand, nightstand area on each side. You have outlets on each side of the bed. Uh, your mattress here. One of the things we love to talk about is the real plywood. Haven't got into a lot of construction part, just really showing the floor plan, but we do use a lot of plywood floors, roof, underneath beds. And then this does lift up, so you have tons of uh, more storage underneath the bed. You also have TV hookups um, along the, the wall there. If you want to add a TV for your bedroom, you can do that as well. That's a quick look at the 265 RLSW. Again, this is built in our Twin Falls, Idaho for our Western dealers, a new floor plan for that Idaho edition out there. Uh, we also build it here in Indiana as well. It's a great rear living floor plan, the 265 RLSW. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can visit your local Jayco dealer or at our website at jayco.com.